Everybody's concerned about killer robots. Uh, we should ban them, you know, we shouldn't do any research into them. It may be unethical to do so. It's a wonderful uh, paper, in fact, by a professor at the uh, post-naval graduate school in, in uh, Monterey, I believe, B.J. Strausser. I believe the title is The Moral Requirement to Deploy Autonomous Drones. And his basic point in that is, is really pretty straightforward. We have obligations to our, our military forces to protect them. And things that we can do which may protect them, a failure to do that is itself an, an ethical decision which may cause, uh, may be the wrong thing to do if you have technologies. Uh, so let me give you an interesting, scale that whole thing down to show you this doesn't have to be about, you know, Terminator-like robots coming in and, you know, shooting at people and things like that. Think about a landmine. Now, a landmine has a sensor, a little switch. You step on it, it blows up. There's a sensor, there's an action that's taken as a result of a change in its environment. Now, it's a fairly straightforward matter to take some artificial intelligence technologies right off the shelf today and just put a little camera on that. It's not expensive, same kind you have in your, in your cell phone, and a little bit of processing power that could look at what's actually happening around that landmine. And you might think, well, okay, um, I can see that the person who is nearby me is carrying a gun. I can see that they're wearing a military uniform, so I'm going to blow up. But if you see it's just uh, some peasant out in a field with a, a rake or a hoe, we can avoid blowing up under those circumstances. Oh, that's a child. I don't want to blow up. I'm being stepped on by an animal. Okay, I'm not going to blow up. Now, that is an autonomous military technology of just the sort that there was a recent letter uh, signed by a great many scientists, this falls into that, that class. And in, they're urging that devices like that be banned. But I give this as an example of a device which, for which there's a good argument that if we can deploy that technology, it's more humane, it's more targeted, and it's more ethical to do so. Now that isn't always the case. My point is not that I'm, that's right and we should just go ahead willy-nilly and develop killer robots. My point is this is a much more subtle area which requires considerable more thought and research. And we should let the people who are working on it think through these problems and make sure that they understand the kinds of sensitivities and concerns that we have as a society about the use and deployment of these types of technologies. Music